Welcome back gamers. Here we're going to try out the character generation of Challenge of the Five Realms. One of the best features of the game. Let's check it out. I choose the name Redlaw because that is just who I am. Alright, and the way this works, you choose based on what you read here what you're going to be. You got the fighter choice, the thief choice, the diplomat choice and the mage choice. I want to be a thief mage, so let's see what I can find out. You're traveling with an exploration team in an uncharted forest far north of Castle Valleytoke. You accidentally become separated from the rest of the team and are captured by a tribe of primitive nomads. They appear to be discussing your demise. You listen carefully to their conversation and try to gain a rudimentary understanding of their language so that you can negotiate for your freedom. Dredge up the memories of a few old magic tricks and hope they are enough to turn you into an object of worship to the nomads. Try to slip out of your bonds and sneak away. That sounds like a thief to me. The king has issued a decree banishing magic and sorcery from the kingdom. You attempt to cast a spell that will reverse his decision. Threaten all sorcerers with violence until they flee the kingdom. Present your father with a case that points out the benefits of having sorcerers at his disposal. Prove to your father the benefits of magic by performing spells for him yourself. Steal the crown from the king as he sleeps and blame it on sorcerers. <laughs> okay, so I can attempt to cast a spell though to reverse his decision or prove the benefits of magic by performing spells for him myself. Well, I know that cast a spell would be more of a mage choice than trying to convince him. So I'm going to choose cast should choose mage for me. At times you've sat on the beach and watched the ship set sail. You've often wished you could become a swashbuckling pirate who rules the high seas. Lead an immense military fleet off on a mission of conquest. Travel to an undiscovered mystical realm where fantastic magic and sorcerous creatures are commonplace. Become a wealthy seafaring merchant who travels the world's oceans making powerful allies and tremendous profits. Become a daring pirate. I believe that's more of a thief choice. And lastly, while exploring the mountains at the edge of the kingdom, you and your party of friends are trapped by a blizzard and a snowslide. You tell everyone to wait out the storm, and then you can all walk out of the mountains safely when it's over. Decide that the best course of action is to start trekking around the snowslide immediately. You call upon your friends to follow your lead. Tell everyone to wait out the storm while you shelter them with your magic. Follow the lead of someone else, but hide your food and water in case you need it later. So, we are going to shelter them with my magic. Here we go, what do I got? Many times you run from danger, but you often trip on the tail between your legs. <laughs> Magic ability, you are skilled, but no master. Diplomacy, you lack respect throughout the kingdom. Peasants wait in line for hours just to relieve themselves on a statue of your likeness. Illegal tendencies, you can be extremely sneaky and deceptive. Oh, okay. Now here we go. <laughs> A master sorcerer has instructed you to assist him in finding a merchant who has sold him some worthless spell components. The merchant is skilled at hiding in and blending with crowds. How do you try and find him? Try using a spell of seeking. Through this spell has very limited range. Repeated use of it while moving about the city may yield results. Try binding your spell of seeking into various rings and drop them in strategic places around the city like a net. Though it may be risky, attempt to spend some time modifying your spell of seeking to attempt to increase its very limited range. Cast a spell of invisibility on yourself and keep an unobtrusive watch on the merchant's favorite haunts. I like how it works with the net for the spell of seeking. But I think that's going to give me more binding, so let's see. Cast a spell of invisibility on yourself. Here we go. A strange vortex appears in the courtyard of a monastery, five miles from the castle. Two monks of the Church of Echis have fallen into the vortex, never to return. The church appeals to the monarchy to investigate. You cast a decreased speed spell, decreasing the energy level of the vortex. Gaze into the vortex with the aid of a spell and see another dimensional wizard creating the vortex. Although he speaks in a foreign tongue, you convey to him the damage the vortex has done. Meaning no harm, he closes the vortex. Recognize the vortex as a gateway to another dimension and resolve to explore it. In the meantime, you ring the monastery with soldiers to keep people away until you devise a method of traveling through the vortex. 
Forbid anyone from entering the monastery, then convene in secret with your munter to attempt to fashion a spell that will seal the vortex. I will gaze into the vortex and see the man in there creating it. Duke Cromnoth's daughter, Duchess Lassai, has agreed to attend the New Year celebration with you. You want to present her with a necklace of rubies and sapphires, but your father has given you much too small of an allowance. How do you acquire the expensive necklace for the Duchess? Try to convince the jeweler to give you the necklace on credit. Steal the necklace from the jeweler's shop in the middle of the night. Attempt to intimidate the jeweler into giving you the necklace by threatening to close his shop using your royal influence. Cast a spell of mind control over the jeweler and have him hand the necklace over to you. Try to barter with the jeweler until you can buy the necklace with the money you have available. Try to convince the jeweler to give you the necklace on credit. So, I want to mind control him. More magical ability. You are struck by the beauty of a young peasant girl in one of the surrounding villages. You want to establish a relationship with this girl, but you know your father would disapprove. You search through banned spellbooks for a spell that would transform the peasant girl into an elegant, charming princess who would gain your father's approval. Persuade the village sorcerer to give you an enchanted object that has a powerful love spell bound into it. Then use this object to ensure that the peasant girl remains faithful until you can convince your father to accept her. Cast a spell of mind control on your father to ensure that he will accept the peasant girl. Cast a spell of enchantment on the girl in order to satisfy your physical urges. So, I want to search through banned spellbooks for a spell that would transform her into a princess that would gain my father's approval. And here comes the thief abilities. The village of Buntonderry has been stricken with a deadly plague. The small town is impoverished, and no one can afford med medical supplies or assistance. You hear about the crisis and decide to assemble a band of thieves and rob Duke Gorman's treasure room? Then distribute the stolen jewels to the village leaders of Buntonderry? Don a disguise and threaten to rob the nobles at your father's social gatherings under the pretense of distributing the wealth to the sick and the poor. Then keep the loot for yourself. Ambush any other relief efforts that are sent to Buntonderry. Then take the medicine to the village yourself and sell it at twice the normal price. Ignore the problem entirely. Begin kidnapping doctors and healers, sending them to Buntonderry in exchange for their release. Steal father from your mo money from your father's supply and distribute it to the sick and poor of the region. So, I want to assemble a band of thieves, rob Duke Gorman's treasure room, and distribute the jewels to the village leaders of Buntonderry. The local thief has purchased a ring which contains five men who expand to size upon release. He has been commanding the men to commit daring jewel thefts. The nobility of the kingdom are terrorized by this wave of crime. You assemble a squad of palace guards and lead them in an arrest of the thief and seizure of that ring. Wait for an evening when the thief stays out late celebrating his ill-gotten riches. You break into his home and steal the ring, which you then use to commit your own crimes. Notify the sheriff of the thief's activity. This information leads to the thief's arrest and conviction or burglary. You testify against him before your father, the king. Threaten, you, threaten the thief with imprisonment unless he agrees to cut you in on a piece of the action. So, I want to use the ring for my own crimes. Evil mage, evil, evil thief mage. A ruthless gang of thugs has invaded your village and taken over many of the illegal businesses that you and your band had previously controlled. What do you do? Attack the rival gang outright and take back all of the business you once controlled. Accept the fact that the rival gang has taken your business and move on to somewhere new. Strike a deal with the rival gang to split the business down the middle. Attack them outright. I want a little bit of combat, so I'm going to attack them outright and take back all the business I once controlled. Don't f*** with my shit. has presented itself for you to assond a sizable amount of jewelry from a wealthy local merchant. You threaten the merchant with physical violence unless he hands over the jewels. Try to use your natural cleverness to con the merchant out of his jewels. Break into his mansion the first moment you have the chance, so as not to lose the opportunity through needless delay. Take some extra time to case the mansion and plan the job, even though your window of opportunity may close before you're done. I want to threaten him with physical violence. A little more combat. We got 15 hit points, not bad. 
33 sword, 33 hand weapon, that's dagger usage. Okay, crime is at 52, not bad. Pretty good bargaining, I can translate stuff pretty good. Ah, 63 stealth, not bad. Uh, casting, learning, and binding, all good, and 45 magic points, not bad at all. Let's get in right here. You see the character I made with the face editor, and he is going to be my choice. And there you have it. Now we're going to exit to the game and save this character. Oh my head, it feels like it's going to explode. Someone must have knocked me unconscious. But who and why? Wait, where is my crown? Where is my mother's possessions? Someone has taken them. I must find out what's going on around here at once. And with that, friends, we are going to end this Let's Play right here, because it's getting kind of long. We're going to go ahead and save it, and we will pick up on the next one. Alright, and remember to subscribe and like the video if you do, and I will see y'all later.